All right, so I just want to take a quick moment to talk about my favorite photo of the month. It's between two photos that I took with this camera, the Nikon ZF, which is a beautiful throwback to the Nikon FM2. It's the Nikon ZF, Voigtlander, fully manual lens. It's the Sony E-mount version. So you do need the Megadap adapter, which I'm going to throw in the description. But before I like nerd out about this camera even more, I just want to talk about my two favorite photos. I know I said one, but it was a close tie. I've been going through uh, <laughs> some changes in my life and uh, I deleted all social media. I just kind of gave it all up, um, trying to become an overall better person, uh, focus more so like on mental health. Uh, I got into therapy, I am uh, working through my relationship, just trying to like really be a well-rounded person, just trying to, you know, take care of me and uh, make sure I'm, you know, the best person for those around me. One of the things that I feel like that everyone goes through when they're trying to make these changes is, uh, yeah, you become a little bit isolated, but you still have to make sure that you're out and about, you know, getting some sunlight, uh, catching some good vibes. And the way that I do that is with my photography. All right, photo number two. I'm gonna throw it up on the screen for you guys and I'm gonna walk you through on how I got this shot, what I was doing in the moment that led to this shot, and then we're gonna cover my favorite photo of September 2024 in just a few moments. So 45 minutes from where I live, there's an old abandoned gas station and I was trying to beat the sunset. Utah is known for its incredible sunsets and what it does with the colors in the clouds. And as I was driving down there, I realized I was short on time and I was not going to make the sunset. So I pulled over and snapped this shot. This is a straight out of camera, untouched photo that I had taken with the Nikon ZF of Utah Lake, making sure that the mountains were highlighted and also making sure there was room for the colorful clouds. And this is what the photo looks like after I've retouched it. Initially, my camera was at about F4, F5, and I just knew that that wasn't working for this photo because I wasn't getting all of the detail that I wanted. I wanted to make sure that everything was in focus with the exception of the foreground. And so I stopped down to about F11, F12. And initially I misjudged this photo because I thought I wanted the wooden fence with the barbed wire to basically be the subject of the photo. But when I looked at the mountainscapes, the shadows, the clouds, the way that the sun was beaming, all of that pink light, across the landscape that's when i knew the mountain in the distance had to be the main subject and ultimately i got lucky with a beautiful unplanned photo spur of the moment pull over on the side of the road walk a little ways and i came out with a photo to remember i ended up sharing this picture in the group chat with other photographers shared it on reddit in the nikon zf community and it got really good feedback and if you're a photographer you know how good that feeling is there's a lot of validation there and i can honestly say this is one that i'll probably end up throwing in my portfolio so that's favorite photo number two of the month and number one is this photo right here. So again, I was taking another mental clarity day, just driving around this old city called Magna, Utah, when I had seen this older gentleman sitting down near a fence, reading the newspaper with his coffee. And I instantly did a U-turn, put my car in park, and I ran right up to him and asked him if I could take his photo. In hindsight, I should have asked for a portrait as well, maybe a photo where he's looking at the camera, but what he was doing in the moment was so, so cool and I wanted to make sure that I documented it. Now, is this the best photo that I've ever taken? No, but we know that photos coupled with a great story are the ones that we remember the most, and those are the photos that matter the most. In speaking with this older gentleman whose name is Leonard, I found out that he's 86 years old, originally from South Dakota, and had moved to Magna, Utah a little over 40 years ago. He told me how much the city and the landscape had changed in the last 40 years. He told me how he's now living alone and completely on his own. He also shared that he has an estranged son named Charlie who he hasn't seen in over 10 years. And that was really hard to hear. My heart broke for him. I sat there talking with him a little bit more about his life, how he ended up in Magna, Utah, but he always kind of came back to how he wanted to basically reconnect with his son because he's got grandchildren that he hasn't met before. And I mean, in, in all reality, it just it, like it kind of broke my heart. My, my heart broke for him. I was so thankful that I was able to capture this beautiful moment of Leonard 
kind of stuck in that older reality, you know, not a cell phone in sight. He's not scrolling social media. He's reading the paper and enjoying coffee on a Sunday. But it also served as a grim reminder that even though life is good right now, I'm 36 years old, I've got relationships, friends, I've got this big circle of people that I talk to. It just helped me realize that someday, if I'm lucky, I'll also be 86 years old and I might be at it alone. And even though I can hear the pain in Leonard's voice when he was talking about his son Charlie and how they had not spoken in over 10 years and he had no idea where he was, Leonard still had a smile on his face and he still made time for someone like me to have a conversation with. Leonard could have brushed me off and told me to get lost, but he had a moment of vulnerability with a complete stranger that led to this beautiful capture. And hopefully I'll run into Leonard again and maybe this time I'll get his last name so we can track Charlie down. So there it is. Those are my two favorite photos of the month of September in 2024. Let me know in the comments which photo is your favorite and uh, let me know if we should try to find Leonard again and uh, reunite him with the sun.